Enslaved from birth in Kentucky in 1815, William Wells Brown was owned by several enslavers before adulthood. At the age of 19, he found himself in Cincinnati, Ohio. Seizing the opportunity, Brown fled to Dayton, where a Quaker, opposed to enslavement, sheltered him. By the late 1830s, Brown was living in Buffalo, New York, a key player in the North American 19th century black activist movement. His home, a station on the Underground Railroad. Relocating to Massachusetts, Brown penned his memoir, Narrative of William W. Brown, a Fugitive Slave, written by himself. Published in 1847 by the Boston Anti-Slavery Office, this compelling narrative gripped readers, going through four U.S. editions and multiple British editions. In England to lecture, Brown opted to stay when the Fugitive Slave Law passed in the U.S. In London, he wrote Clotel or the President's Daughter, a novel suggesting that Thomas Jefferson fathered a daughter sold